The world witnessed shimmering northern lights. Unlike the name, they were visible as far away as in Ladakh. While the solar storms didn't cause much damage except nudging some satellites a few hundred meters from their orbit. But the question, of course, is can we even predict them? Now, a new study has thrown some exciting insights, and our next port tells you more. This month has been especially stormy for the sun. Intense solar flares are causing one of the strongest solar storms in decades. According to NASA, there are the strongest solar storm to reach the Earth in two decades, and perhaps one of the strongest displays of auroras on record in the past 500 years. The recent solar storms of course, were uh, produced these beautiful aurora. And luckily, other than that, they did not have much impact on Earth. However, uh, stronger storms uh, could be very different. Uh, in the 1800s, there was an extremely strong uh, solar, solar storm that hit Canada called the Carrington event. If that were to hit the US today, it's estimated that it would cause between one and $2 trillion of damages. Now, a groundbreaking discovery, a new study reveals that the sun's powerful magnetic field, responsible for solar storms, originates surprisingly close to the surface. This finding challenges the long-held belief that the sun's dynamo, the process generating the magnetic field, was located deep within the star's interior. According to the study, Sun's dynamo lies at a depth of just 32,000 kilometers below the surface, significantly closer than previously thought. This revelation holds the potential to improve our understanding of the Sun's 11-year solar cycle and enhance our ability to forecast space weather events. The new model could pave the way for more accurate predictions of solar storms, allowing for better preparedness and mitigation strategies to protect Earth's vital infrastructure from the potential impacts of these powerful cosmic events. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.